this video we're going to show you how you can add graphics, notes, part numbers, in fact anything else you want to add to your work instructions. So if I just open up the existing work instructions by clicking on any uh, activity in my process here, this is the way data is initially dumped into your work instructions. You'll see that basically it's just one row after another, each row represents one of the chips in your process here in the background. Right, so you can see get screws, secure four screws, get casing. Get screws, secure four screws, get casing. If you're using videos, the video will be linked here. And what I want to do is I want to create some space so we can add some uh, pictures and so forth here. And the way we do that is just by using standard Excel functions. We highlight the area we want to work with. And we're going to make a few rows here. Hit the right button and we say insert. And we tell it shift the cells down. And notice I'm working within the uh, section where the timer pro is maintaining it, not as opposed to the area that you're maintaining it. So many rows at the top, so many columns on the left here. So now we've created some space here, and we can put anything we want in here. So for instance, we can double click on the play video here, it's going to play the video. And you might take a snapshot by clicking on the snapshot, see when the guy gets the tool here. We just click on that, and we're going to get a snapshot here, we close this, and we're going to put that picture somewhere in here. Now where you put data is actually very important to the manipulation of data. We've created an area here in the background, you can see it right here. So many rows here, maybe a, a 10 or so rows here. And that's the area, this entire area here, from here out on out to the right, is going to be everything that can be associated with this particular get screws in position. So I've got a picture here, you'll notice it's put its little uh, identification on here. And we can make it a little smaller. And we want to make sure that that fits in here. And the reason why to make sure it fits in here when it, the Timer Pro manipulates data and moves it around, it looks for one activity and it looks for the next activity. And then it's going to figure out everything that's in between that is something it might want to handle. Uh, and it can move around automatically for you. So we could put some notes in here and might, maybe we put in some part numbers. Part numbers, right? And we just type in a few numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 8765432, right? These are different part numbers that might be used here. And of course, you can format these any way you want. Uh, you're working in Excel, there's nothing special going on here. So you can do whatever you like here to highlight them and so forth. Okay, so this is cosmetic information here. You can also have little icons. Maybe I, I grab one of these guys. I could copy it and bring it across here. Maybe drop it in here. Paste it right in there so you can see it here. Use all the drawing tools and everything that goes with Excel here. And again, what we're doing is we're working in this particular area here. Now, if there is an overlap, let's say we drop this, made this a little bit bigger here. And it actually went into the next row here. It would not pick up the picture at all. Why not? Because it's only looking for information from this row down to the next element down here. And as you can see right there, if I highlight that, that's actually dropped out of that area there. And since we, the program is going to know exactly where the object, the object being this picture here, is sitting, it's going to say, there's an overlap here, I don't know what to do with it. What you'd really like to do is make this a little smaller so that it fits within that area there. Now you can have different uh, pictures, multiple videos, no reason why you can do anything you want here. Just grab another snapshot, just click on the snapshot, bring it in, you can drop it right where you want, paste it in here. Right, so you can really put anything you'd like in here in terms of uh, formatting the information that you'd like here. You see people putting safety notes, uh, part numbers, this type of thing. Everything in here is going to be maintained here. Now, you might say that's pretty obvious. What, what happens at the bottom? When there is no more uh, activities falling, this is the last activity in that particular task. And what it does is it looks for 10 blank rows. If it finds 10 blank rows in here, it will say that's the end, and it will stop pro processing that particular task and move on to the next one there. Okay, so it's very important you realize how these uh, this data is positioned and you can put anything you want. Now if we go back to one of the previous uh, tasks, you can see in here a more typical format here. You've got your uh, your element description, the video is linked to it. So obviously we can double click on that and play it right back and see what the guy's doing. And um, you can see I've already got a number of pictures here. So I've got the video, one, two, three, four pictures part numbers, arrows and icons, and notes. It's a very typical format we see in a lot of the work instructions our clients are doing. Uh, so this area here, all the way from here, all the way down to here, 
will be uh, part of the one element that you can drag and drop around on your balance sheet to move your activities and maintain your work instructions. And you can see here, here's the last one. It's also got a picture on it. And what it will do, it will look for up to 10 lines at the bottom here and it will know it's finished. In that case, it would then move on to the next uh, operation here. So that gives you an idea of how the, you should uh, plan on inserting uh, supporting information into your work instructions.